And so it continues. A top-level meeting between the president and congressional leaders failed to find a solution that could end the government shutdown. Neither side will budge. You know, at times like this, uh, the American people expect their leaders to, to come together and to try to find ways to resolve their differences. Now, the president uh, reiterated uh, one more time tonight that uh, he will not negotiate. Uh, we've got divided government. Democrats uh, control the White House and the Senate. Uh, Republicans uh, control the House. We sent four different proposals over to our Democrat colleagues in the Senate. They rejected all of them. President Obama is still refusing to negotiate with the hardcore Republicans who continue to try and quash his Affordable Care Act. If we get in a habit where a few folks, an extremist wing of one party, whether it's Democrat or Republican, uh, are allowed to extort concessions uh, based on a threat of undermining the full faith and credit of the United States, then any president who comes after me, not just me, uh, will find themselves unable uh, to govern effectively. And, and that is not something that I'm going to allow to happen. Stop the blackmail! Gridlock, stalemate, deadlock, impasse, whatever you call it, the effects are the same for these federal workers. Here's some information on tourist sites that are still open. They handed out shutdown guides to fellow sufferers, tourists, whose plans to visit Washington's parks, museums and monuments have been scuppered. So I wanted to make sure that my claim was in, in line and, um, you know, if this drags out, that um, there, might be, there might be a check coming that I can pay my rent. But no one felt the closure of the monuments more deeply than the World War II veterans who travelled across America to honour their fallen comrades. But in the only concession so far, the national parks lifted the barricades and allowed them in. But hundreds of others are left battling. The polls say the public blame the Republicans for this, the first government shutdown in 17 years. And there is no end in sight. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Washington.